Good morning guys and girls and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make gold with inscription. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Dailies. With daily crafts what you want to be doing is creating the books and the staffs which you gain from inscription. Now these sell really well on the auction house and to be honest I don't know why because they're really easy to craft but they sell and they're a really good transmog, half of them. My tip for you guys on selling these are the Warlords of Draenor ones still sell quite well and I'm not too sure why that is. I'm guessing it's because they're the level 91 gear and people just buy it so they can try and power level their characters through Draenor because everyone hates Draenor. But other than that, you can make a lot of gold from this. Anywhere from around about 2,000 gold to anywhere from around about 5,000 gold per staff or book. Glyph crafting. Now with crafting glyphs what you want to be doing is by getting hold of the old world materials so like the sun grass and the terra cones. Basically all the old herbs that you can get your hands on on the auction house. When you mill these old herbs you get the old inks and you can craft and you can craft all the old glyphs without using the trader for the new inks to the uh, to get the old inks. This saves you a lot of gold and makes you a lot more profit as the old oil herbs don't sell all that much for that much gold. Now what you want to be doing is crafting at least 10 of each glyph. And basically what you're going to be doing is trying to create a wall in the auction house. You're going to be wanting to set it for 12 hours and then constantly relisting all the time. This will block off anyone else's items on the auction house and making your ones all seen first or when people go searching for a new glyph. This gives you a higher chance of getting your glyphs bought and it helps in the long run. Personally, the highest selling glyphs are the Mage, Warrior and Warlock glyphs at this moment in time along with the demon hunter glyphs. Now these sell really well. These ones would be primarily the legion glyph, so you will need to invest quite a nice a nice amount of gold into creating a mass amount of glyph walls in order to sell a load. So it is worth the investment, but you'll also have to outlay a load of gold as well at the same time. Flips. Now what you want to be doing is by buying up dream leaf now Dreamleaf is the, probably the best for or any flip and it's because you get nightmare pods when you mill it. Now I'm not talking about mass milling, I'm talking about single milling because personally from my experience mass milling doesn't give you that much profit compared to the original one, the conventional way of how we used to do it. Now basically you obviously mill a stack of five of these dream leaves and you have a chance of getting a nightmare pod which which will give you extra inks and pigments. Also it can even drop another nightmare pod which contains more more stuff. This can contain even more dream leaf, more inks and everything. That's extra gold. Basically, you're going to be wanting to buy them for around about 20 gold each and then flipping them by crafting them by milling them into the pigments and the inks and then selling that on the auction house. You can also use the, that this method to get more inks and pigments for your glyphs in Legion. Now I hope you like this video on how to make gold with inscription. Now if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below. And as always have an awesome day guys.